Stay. Stay. Internet, yo to the what is up. So today is my day off, and uh, we're going to go drop off some film. I got about three rolls. I think they're all Fuji C200. It's been a minute. I, I took them about a month ago. It is very hot in here. It's uh, baking right now. So we're going to crank up some AC. Hopefully that will work. There it is. I love the summer, but summer usually goes by very quick. But then the winter comes and says, I am here to stay, baby. So we're going to Kingston, which is about 40 to 45 minutes away. We're going to drop off some film. And um, I guess I'll show you guys how I edit some stuff. Yeah, we'll go do that. We'll do some editing. P.S. The weirdest thing for me is transitioning. Some people go like this. And then to go like that. Maybe I'll just do this. Mmm. Yep. Dag nabbit, that was good. Alright, let's go do this. Yellow. So we just arrived at Arts Crafts and uh, yeah, we're gonna drop off some film. I think I already established that. Why do I do this? Why do I even do this stuff? Now, one of two things are gonna happen here. One being that it'll be same day development. We hang out here, do some stuff, work on some editing, come back, get our pictures, and then scan them. The other thing is that I wait, I go back home, because uh, 45 minutes here, 45 minutes back, then 45 minutes here, again, to pick it up, 45 minutes back is, well, gas is very, So therefore, we're gonna use some wisdom. It's all right, let's go develop some film. I guess we're going back home. Film won't be ready till Tuesday. I need a cup of coffee, but we're not just gonna do hot coffee. We're gonna do iced coffee. And uh, we're gonna do quick check. Plans, man. They be changing. Plans be changing. Who's this? An invader! Hey, buddy. That's my homie. By the way, I'm using the DJI Pocket 2 as a vlog camera. This has been like a game changer for me. Reason being is because I like a compact light setup. And I'm not sponsoring this, it's just I like convenience. Right now, I'm recording this on my phone. Check this out. Bam! I think I can even, check this out. Oh, that's dope. I move it in on my phone. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using Lightroom. I usually go back and forth between Lightroom and uh, Capture One. I like Capture One a little better for some reasons, but also like Lightroom because I like my presets better on here. I think the dehaze on Lightroom is a little better than Capture One, but Capture One is more surgical when it comes to color correction. And uh, yeah, but for right now, Lightroom. So uh, for this video, I want to show you guys how I edit my pictures. First, we're going to uh, work on this picture right here. I use Fujifilm. So what I usually do is, I mean, if you have Sony, you might have something like Vibrant or, you know, whatever. For Fuji, we have profiles like Astia, Pravia, Classic Chrome. I typically use Classic Chrome. I like the way it looks on my pictures. If not, don't worry about it. It's all gravy, baby. So yeah, let's get to work on this. It was really warm out, so we're gonna bring that up. Uh, picture's a little bit on the green. I wanted to bring it close to the magenta. Adding a linear gradient. And uh, for about half of this picture, boosted the exposure and the shadows and also the dehaze. I like a hazy picture, very promise-like. We're gonna take away some dehaze, 
which means we're adding some haze. We're adding some haze on haze on haze for days. Even though I was using ProMist, but we're gonna add more. So I want to increase the contrast a bit, bring down the exposure some, and we're going to tone down these highlights. We're gonna bring down these shadows. I guess bring down the whites. Just up the blacks, bring the clarity down by negative five. And then we're going to add some haze by taking away some dehaze. We are going to the sound curve and we're going to do a basic S. We're also going to bring the middle up a little bit. Gives the mid range a bit of a punch, very slight. And then we're going to take the highlights on our tone curve and we're gonna bring it down. And then we're going to take, we're gonna have that fade, that insta fade. Not like, not too much, just enough. And then we're gonna go between the blacks and the shadows right here on the tone curve. We're gonna add a point and then we're gonna bring it down a little more. Now, it still looks dark as hell. It's all good, we're gonna work on that. Going to create another mask, and then I am gonna bump up the contrast and the shadows, and then let's behind this a little bit, and then we're gonna start painting. Now I do, I think I'm gonna add a little more, I think I'm gonna bump up the exposure just a little more for this. Actually, I think I might even bump up the shadows overall. I'm gonna add another mask. We're gonna add another brush. We're gonna bump up the highlights and then we're gonna bump up the clarity. A little more. Gives some of the metal and the cobblestones a bit of shine. Now we're gonna go to the HSL color tab and I want to bring the reds a little like plus 10 closer to the orange. Um, I want the yellows closer to the orange side. Uh, bring the greens closer to the orange. About negative 47. Aqua. Uh, bring it to the blue. Bring it to the blue. And the blue, um, I think I might leave the blue here. Uh, let me see, any purple here? Is there any? Purple being affected? No, no purple. Magenta. I don't see anything. Then we're gonna look at saturation. Um, I want to bump up the orange. Bump up the orange. Yellow, I'm gonna bump up some yellow. Yeah, see, it brings a little extra warmth. Um, <coughs> the hell is that? <coughs> I need water. Okay, that was interesting. So I'm, I noticed that there is some green in the shadows. I don't want that, so I'm going to desaturate the green, even though it is affecting the trees, but it's all good, baby, baby. I really don't, I don't want a lot of blue in here though. I mean, just a little bit, just a little bit of blue. Let's go to luminance. We're going to bump up the orange just a little bit. The only red I see being affected as far as luminance is concerned is that flag just down here. Um, I, I guess we'll bring it up a little bit. Yellow, see that? I wanna bring that up because that helps make the architecture pop a little bit. 
green. Even though we desaturated it, I guess we could still bring up the luminance. Aqua, I wanna bring that down. The blue, I wanna... I'll bring it down just a tad, color grading. So, I want to go to, let's go to the shadows. I want to have orangey, warm shadow. I think that's good enough. Ooh, that's too much. Yeah, I guess we can take that one. For the mid-tones, let's bring it to six. Uh, how do I feel about that? I guess that's decent. I think that's okay. What if I bring up I think that's okay. And then we're gonna bump up the luminance in the mid-tones. Highlights. Uh, let's see. I think I like it right here at 229. saturation to about 30 and then I want to bump up the looms luminous about plus six and I think maybe I want to decrease the blues just a little bit back in the HSL you know that, that kind of works uh, yeah. temperature is a little a little higher maybe bring up the Calibration. So I start usually at the blues, at the hue, the blue primary, and I will bring it closer to the aqua because I like how it affects the warm tones. And uh, let's see what the saturation looks like if we pump it up just a little bit. And uh, I like it at plus 15. Uh, red primary. Maybe let's bring up the saturation in the primary. Does it look good? Uh, maybe just a little bit. And uh, let me see, is there anything else I want to do with this? Maybe bring down the saturation just a little bit. I'm going into perfectionist mode. So I want to look at this picture. Really wonder is there anything else? I, yes, yes, there's something else I could do. We're gonna go create another mask. We're gonna use brush. Actually, hold up. We're gonna zoom in to these lights right here. Now, first and foremost, I wanna create a mask and I'm going to boost the temperature to the warm side. I'm going to boost the exposure. I want to fix this light right here. We're gonna fix this light. Side. I want to fix this bad boy right here. Also notice there's a little bit of a splotch that's that's uh, sticking out right here. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna go to subtract. We're gonna go to brush, and we're gonna. Create another mask. And what I want to do is, I notice there's a halo around this light. I want to create something very similar like that. So we're going to go to dehaze and uh, let's uh, let's feather this bad boy out. Oh, this is going to get a little annoying because that's there. Let's see how that works. Does it work, ladies and gentlemen? Does it work? Hmm. In a way it does, however, look at that. We gotta fix the color. So, 
Let's bump up the saturation. And bring up the hue, and let's uh, try to match that. Maybe if I bump up the saturation, oh, I'm sorry, bring down the dehaze a little more. Maybe clarity. Close enough from far distance, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create one more mask. One more for good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, density down. We like a lot of flow. Feather crap out of that. And we're just going to take away some haze, add some haze, and we're going to Exposure, warming up, it's a little more. And how about that? I don't like that. I think this is acceptable. Next one's this one right here. First and foremost, I want to center this guy. I want to center home slash right here. So we're going to hit R. And I'm going to hit O. I'm going to change the grid. I want to center this guy, so let's center him. Actually, I want to center his dominant eye. To me, the dominant eye is the, the eye that's closest to the camera. So I want to keep it right there. Let's go with Astia or Classic Chrome. And I think we're going back to Chrome. We're gonna to stick to the Chrome, baby. All right. We're gonna warm you up just a little bit. Perfect. And uh, let's bring down the highlights just a bit. Bring down the shadows. Wants a little bit of punch. Uh, leave the whites and blacks alone for now. We're going to decrease the clarity by a negative five. We're gonna do, you guess it, add some haze by taking away some DAs. I think 17 is good for now. Let's desaturate this a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the tone curve. We're gonna add a point in the shadows, mid-tones, highlights. Bring down the highlights just a tad, and we're gonna take the whites and bring that down. We're gonna take the blacks and we're gonna insta-fade because you guess it, Insta famous. We're gonna add a point between the blacks and the shadows and bring that down, maybe even closer to the blacks. You know what, I might even bring the shadow down. Hue, saturation, luminance. Let's do the reds. We got reds? We do. Let's um, bring the reds a little bit close to the orange. I want to leave the orange where it is, yellow. Mm, maybe negative four for the yellow. Green, um, hmm. I kind of like both, but I like the punch of the green. But I feel like it looks more uniform to have the greens closer to the yellows, which is prompting me to bring the yellow closer to the orange just a little bit. With editing comes a lot of compromise. Aquas, none. Blues. In fact, you look right here, that's your only blue right there. This is foam. Um, let's leave that alone. Purple. I don't see no purple action here. No purple rain. Magenta. 
Uh, yeah, definitely you see the flowers right here. Um, I wanna bring that closer to the red, just a little bit. Saturation. Let's, uh, yeah, let's bump up that red, man. Let's bump up the red. I love bumping up warm tones, man. Orange, let's bump up that orange. Why? Because our skin is closer to orange. Yellow, let's bump up that yellow. Let's bump it up. Green. Mm, 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 mm. Let's desaturate the green. Yeah, I think we do that. Aqua, there is none. Let's take that away. Blue, let's take that away too. Magenta, let's bump up that magenta because I want, I want them flowers to pop, ladies and gentlemen. Luminance, bring down the red because it makes these flowers punch. Orange, hmm. I think if we bring it down just a little bit, I think it makes the orange punch a little more. Yellow, maybe we'll even bring that down. I like the way it looks. Ooh. All right, yeah, let's bring down the green about negative 45. Still no aqua, still no blue, but let's bring down the blue down to 100 anyway. I don't know why, let's just do it. No purple rain, no purple. Magenta, maybe to bring it up just a little bit. I want to, this is something I like to do. You could do whatever, free country, I guess. Uh, I like red in my shadows. So we're going to give it a little red in the shadows. And then we're going to go to the highlights and we're gonna put some green. Why? Because green and red, this color contrast, it just works that way. So we're going to go to the green, and then we're going to bump that up, I guess right here. And on, uh, I think I'm going to combat this a little bit and bring some orange in the midtones. Maybe bring down the green just a little bit. Maybe bring down the reds just a little bit. Maybe even bring down the lumens of the shadows just a little bit. Hmm. Bring down the green the highlights. Maybe even bring the saturation of the orange and the midtones down to 10. Maybe even bring the shadows down to seven. Blending. Maybe down, maybe, maybe at 30, 39. Uh, bring it right there, yeah, let's, leave it, let's leave it there. I didn't do sharpness last time. What I do is I hold option. If you're on Mac with my mouse, I'm gonna hit that and I am going to bring that down. I just like having the halo in the outline to let me know this is gonna be whatever, whatever you see that is white is gonna be sharpened. And I just bring the amount to maybe like 48. For some reason, the lens corrections, I, uh, you know, I'll go to Fuji. I remember, I think I used a uh, 23 millimeter and uh, it's not really shown up here. So I just don't do it. I leave it alone. Transform, let's see what it looks like. Uh, transform really didn't do anything. Vignette, negative 26 looks good on this. Calibration, we're going to bring, guess what? The hue of the blue Yeah, it looks great. That looks dope. We're gonna leave that as it is, and then we're gonna bring the hue. I wanna see what it looks like close to the orange. Maybe a plus five. Let's see, bring that. Yeah, two's fine. This works for me. This is my favorite shot I took when I was in Savannah. I love night photography, and this is how I do it. Um, I like to have a sinister like kind of look, cinematic, whatever, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. For white balance, I'm gonna hit this eyedropper, and then I'm going to, there's a white spot right here, boom. I'm going to bring the exposure up just a bit, Contrast, uh, let's bring that bad boy jam. Highlights, we're gonna bring that down. Yeah, cause now everything's visible, I like that. Though sometimes, blooming highlights work. I like blooming highlights sometimes. Shadows, 
I think I might bump up the shadows just a little bit. The element of mystery is what I really look for when it comes to photographing people. I, I want to still keep that in this, where I don't really know what this person looks like. I love silhouettes, um, and I like having people to be more like an accessory to a scene. It's a tie to the suit for the picture, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Clarity, you know what we do to clarity? Take it away. Just a little bit. Dehaze. What do we do with dehaze? We we add dehaze by taking away the dehaze. Let's do negative 30. I am noticing it looks very soft in this image, so I think I'm going to actually add more contrast. Let's add a little bit more contrast to that to kind of even it out. Um, I want to take away the saturation just now. I might bring it back up, but I just, I want to do it for this one right now. Tone curve. We're going to add a point to the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. I want to bring down the shadows just a little bit. And let's see, what it looks like, does it look good? We punch it a little more. Um, I think we'll leave it right about here. Highlights, let's see how that looks. Man, actually, I kind of like a little punch in the highlight. The whites, we are going to bring that down just a tad. I think it's called fading the whites or something like that. I feel like I'm the most unprofessional professional here on YouTube, but I'll, I'll wear it as a badge just for you, for the people out there who don't know how to talk, the recluse people, you know. We're gonna insta-famous the black. And then we're going to, as usual, Put a dot between the blacks and the shadows, and we're going to give it a clench. That looks kind of good for me right now. Um, right here, I'm seeing some details here, so I want to get rid of that. So we're going to go create a mask, linear gradient, and we're going to do that. And then we are going to uh, let's bring down the shadows all the way. Uh, I think I want to add another one on the bottom. Just a little bit, just a, li a little bit. We can do the same thing. Just a little bit, even though it was a lot, but just a little bit. HSL, baby. Hey, where do you go? Hue. We are, let's see what it looks like. Uh, actually, I like it better on the orange, believe it or not. Right here, right here is good. Orange is neutral today. I want the yellow closer to the orange, so let's, I think it looks good at negative 27. Aqua. Yeah, you see that dress right there? That's the only thing being affected right now. Um, let's leave that as is. Maybe I do want a little color in here. I think that'll look kind of cool. This blue, um, yeah, boom. You could, yeah, this light right here. It's kind of annoying, but I really don't want to clone it out. Um, we're gonna leave blue as it is. Maybe actually, eh. Closer to the aqua, negative 13 looks good. Purple, oh wow, look at that. Yeah, let's bring, it, bring the purple all the way to the blue. Magenta, don't really see a lot of magenta going on. Maybe in the shadows somewhere, lurking there somewhere. Red, uh, yeah, let's bump up the red and the saturation. Bump up the orange. I think the yellow will, you will, it kind of looks cool, saturated, but I wanna, I might want to add more later, universally, as far as saturation is concerned. So I think we'll leave it at 27, plus 27. Green, uh, don't know there. Leave it at neutral. Aqua, leave it there. Um, I think we'll leave that all that right here. Luminance, you know what, we'll leave orange at 16. The reason why I go to orange before red is because orange is more of a dominant color that I look for. Um, and red's kind of like secondary. Bring down the red just a little bit. Yellow, yeah, plus 11 looks good. Negative 30, 32 for the green. Negative 30 for aqua, negative 13 for blue. Yeah, yeah, purple's still acting up on the blue, so let's, uh, yeah, negative 30, 11. Color grading. Now, uh, we're gonna do like I did with the other one, and I'm going to add some red to the shadows, just a little bit. That looks good for me. For the hue, 
of the mid-tone, I want to maybe 211. Let's see how it looks. All right, ooh, that looks nice. That looks good. Uh, I actually like it at 195. That looks dope. I like that. Though it's affecting right here, affecting the, the orange. So I'm not really a fan of that. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, so compromise, compromise. All right, we'll leave it at 52 right now. We might come back to it. We're going to add some warmth to the highlights. Oh, I like that a lot. If you at 46 looks good. 47 saturation looks good. Bump up the luminance at 13. I like that. I like that a lot. Sharpening, as usual, hold option. And we're going to take the mask and bring it right about here. I like that a lot. Where it's just, it's just the outline. And I'm going to sharpen up just a little bit. 46, 48, whatever. There's a little bit of noise. So we're going to take the luminance. I'm going to hold option. I don't like too soft of an image because it looks like a cartoon. I don't like that. 18 looks good for the contrast. And uh, I think that looks decent. Let's see what the detail. And just play with the sliders, man. Don't forget, just, you know, and see what works for you, man. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. Actually, there are some wrong ways, but you'll discover them. What What's gonna work for you? Let's back to sharpening. Maybe I wanna sharpen up just a little bit more. Maybe 40, 56. That looks good for me. Color, from what I understand, the, this is the color that's in the grain. I don't like color in my grain, so I'm gonna take that away. Transform, let's see how it looks. That looks good, looks straight. And vignette. I love some vignette. This is how we do. As usual, calibration. We're gonna bring the blue primary to aqua. See, I like that because it saves the orange that was in the store. Bring that up. I like this. Is there anything else I wanna do here? I think, you know what I wanna do? I wanna add some diffusion, some dehaze, some haze to this light right here. So we're gonna add a mask, I'm gonna brush, and I'm going to bring up this exposure, maybe bring up the highlight, and uh, we're going to add some haze by taking away some dehaze. And then we're gonna go over here. And let's see how it looks. Maybe we can bring it up a little more. I like that. That works for me. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else I wanna do here? Anything else? You know what, I think maybe in the, the concrete, I think I want to add a little sh more shine. So I'm gonna add the brush. I'm gonna go to clarity. Clarity is good for some things, not the overall picture. Um, clarity is gonna metal and concrete, in my opinion. Um, and I'm just going for what is already highlighted in the image. Um, I think that looks good. Let's look at before and after. Maybe even on this existing one right here. I think that looks good for me. I think I could live with that. Uh, is there anything else I wanna do here? Do I wanna bring down the temp a little more? Ooh, even that looks kinda good. I like this a lot. You know what, I even might add some vibrance. Plus 10, that looks good. And even even bump up the exposure just a little more. And this looks fine to me. Um, and this is how I usually edit my night shots. And for the most part, it's usually the same exact settings. I usually use a, a, a temperature that is closer to tungsten. And it really also depends on the lighting conditions. But this is, my, uh, my workflow. I don't know if you guys ever watched Bob Ross as a kid. This is kind of like, you know, like a little paintbrush, but I got, you know, got my mask. Bam, what you gonna do? So, anyway, thank you for the watch, and uh, I'll see y'all on the flip side. Catch you later, peace. <laughs>